Hey everyone, today I wanted to talk about leveraging Miracast with an Avacore interactive flat panel. Miracast is a built-in Windows tool that allows you to wirelessly share multimedia content to another Miracast device. So essentially casting your device to another display running Windows. So in this setup here, I have my Avacore 7550 F-Series interactive flat panel. I've got a Avacore OPS PC that's plugged into the side of the panel. Right, and there's just a couple steps I have to set up in order to make sure Miracast is ready to go. First, you can check via your DirectX diagnostic tool to make sure the device uh, supports Miracast. Our OPS does out of the box, but you can check it here if you have some other PC attached to our panel. Uh, click on save all information if you run the diagnostic tool and it'll print out this, this notepad here and it'll tell you there in that highlighted line, Miracast is available. The next step is to go into settings in Windows and you can use the search bar and just type in projection and it'll open up this menu here. And just to make sure that these settings are in place, if you had always off and you tried to project, it just, it just wouldn't work, right? So you should either have it on available everywhere or a little added security on secure networks. You can ask it, uh, you can have it set to ask you each time if uh, you can project to this PC. I have it set the first time only. So if I walk into the room with my same device, I only have to approve it one time. And you can also add a required pin for some additional security there. Uh, so the user has to type in a pin in order to cast. So this is correct, creating a direct wireless connection between your device and the panel. You don't actually need uh, to be on the same network, right? It's a direct wireless connection. Okay, so now that I have that set up, I'm gonna go over to my Windows device. Let's say I'm walking into the conference room with my device and I wanna start casting. The first thing I'll do is press Windows key K and I'll see this menu, right? It's giving me an option of different um, displays in the room or different mirror cast devices that I can project to. So all I have to do is tap on Avacore OPS and you can see here that I've, I'm now casting. So this is my other device in the room wirelessly casting. Another thing to point out here is you see that blue checkbox. This isn't usually set by default, but it's important to check that box to allow mouse, keyboard, touch, and pen input from the device. So what that means is I can now walk up to the Avacore panel and manipulate this device, right? I can, I can move around and it actually will support all kinds of pen versus finger versus erase gestures. I'm gonna show that off right here. So it's taking up the whole screen, but I just tap the top bar here because I want to, you know, make this a little smaller. So here's my casted device, right? It's full screen. Let's put this over to the side. And then you can see here, this is my, the one on the left side is my original OPS PC. I'm still able to drive that as well, along with the casted device. And what's really awesome about Miracast, it's still gonna support that pen versus finger versus erase gesture, right? So I can simultaneously ink on my OPS PC and on the casted device PC. So there's my pen and actually can do my erase gesture on each one of these as well, right? Because we got all those different points of touch and actually, so you could simultaneously work if you wanted to. But the idea here is to be able to cast your device and still manipulate it without any kind of physical connections. And you know, given the given the fact that it's wireless connection, there's not a lot of latency there. It's really fast. Um, you know, you're never going to be faster than having a direct connection to a display, but it's it's pretty good. So this is an option for you to wirelessly cast your device uh, without any without having to pay for any kind of additional tools to get that working. It's just built into Windows. Thanks for watching.